Good morning and good morning to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this Friday's episode of Good Morning Tottenham Away. Just over 24 hours from now, Spurs will be making their way on the field at Villa Park to face Aston Villa for what will be probably the most, the closest we're going to be to a cup final. Because I honestly believe whoever wins there will go on, will give them the spring to go and to grab those uh, last of the European places, be it Europa, and um, will completely take the other one out in due course. Because I, I, I feel one more defeat for either of those two teams, and I think it's curtains call cool on that front. Let me know what you think, uh, and if you feel that if you feel the same about it. I know, I, I, guys, before I am under no illusion, I know many of you in the comments, because I read your comments daily, guys. I may not respond to every single one of you, but I do read your comments. And I know many of you feel, who cares, Iggy? Some of you may think, you know, it's best all round to be out of Europe altogether. Um, many of you perhaps feel, I, I know many of you feel, actually, that missing out of Europe would probably benefit the team or it would actually put Daniel Levy more under more pressure for missing out of Europe, Europe altogether. And others feel like we do need European football of any kind, even if it's Europa. Obviously, Champions League is out of our hands now. So, you know, we need Europa to, to, to keep, you know, to keep those um, European nights um very much coming at White Hart Lane. So I, I, I completely get all sides of the story. So listen, I know it's like sometimes I'm I'm conflicted myself because I completely get it. Um, missing out of Europe altogether will probably be once a week and a manager coming in can really get into get to work with the players that he has, perhaps bringing new players in. And then have the whole week to work with them before they play on the, on the weekend. I completely and utter understand that. And I complete many of you don't even like Europa, let alone Conference uh, League. But you know what? A stadium half size is not, you know, it has to have European nights there. I, I, I'm convinced of that. But, you know, it's, it's open for debate. And I'm sure you guys are going to let me know in the comments below your 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 thought process. I, I'm I'm just trying to balance it out a little bit because I can just see it now. We don't make European football. It it, just, it will say well we'll have a limited budget on the players that we have coming in potentially coming in because of the lack of European nights. If we do, we still don't go and suspend it anyway. Like it proved um, going into the Champions League. Um, didn't quite get the players that we hope to get, i.e. that's extra centre-back. Um, we needed two, probably, centre-backs and attacking mid. We didn't get those the last summer. So what would change this? So, uh, listen, I, I do completely and utter follow all your arguments and all your, your points. And, and, and I'm, 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 caught, I'm saying it here right now. If I've missed anything, please let me know as well in the comments below. But, guys... Um, so, David Raya is the new name. It's not a new name. I've seen his name come up already before. But he's the one that, for someone who's played Premier League football and, you know, and also contracts expiring in 2024, um, he could be the one that perhaps we should look to get um, to get in at White Hart Lane if, if we move quick enough. Um... So, he's out of contract uh, with the West London side in 2024. Uh, Raya is soon to enter final year of his uh, deal, means the transfer valuation is 21.6 million. That it currently is, that's what it's currently, but it will decrease. Um, it turns up the door for Tottenham and other interesting clubs to save millions in the process, thus allowing them to put money towards the summer transfer. Speaking back in February, Raya confirmed 
confirmed that he turned down two new contracts offers from Brentford, hinting that a departure could be on the cards. He also made it clear that he wants to play in Europe and contend, to trophies, contend for trophies. I want to focus on playing games and think uh, and not think too much about my future, explained the Spanish international. I have a contract here and I'm willing to finish that, but you never know what's going to happen in the summer. Maybe the club wants to sell, maybe not. Maybe I want to stay. I want to focus on football and see what happens. The club will decide the price and if the club wants to pay money, that will be it. I'm not worried about it. I'm, I, I'm not in charge of that. I want to play in Europe and I want to fight to win a title. I want to fight, I want to fight to win a European title. I trust myself to be able uh, in those. To, I trust myself to be able to play in those types of games. So an ambitious is an ambitious guy who wants to be playing at the highest level. Uh, certainly, Tottenham is a better level than Brentford. With due respect to Brentford and and the club and the fans. Um, but ultimately, he does want to be competing um, for top honours, be it in Europe and domestically. Um, it remains to be seen if Tottenham can can do that. If we change our ways as a club to allow whoever comes in to do that. Players that want to come in like the Raya wants to know that we're competing for those honours. But at that price is an absolute steal. Even at 21 million, He's worth it. He's got. He's a play, He's a player that's played in, in 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 England already, and that always, for me, takes. Um, for me personally, I, I I give that priority over someone who's not played in the Premier League before because you don't know how they're going to settle. You don't know um, if they adapt to to Premier League football quickly. And we we do. We really do need a goalkeeper that's played here already, that settled in in London life. And and can actually play at, in these you know demands um, that are required for Premier League football. Someone like him will help massively with that. And I truly believe, like literally, the biggest thing as well as as well as being a, a really good goalkeeper, he's so good with his feet, and that's something that we desperately, desperately need to have at Spurs because we need to have a modern day goalkeeper that can play football with his feet as well as his, as well as his hands. It's the requirement. Sure, the goalkeeper first and foremost needs to be very good with his hands, but he has to know how to play with his feet because it helps the defence so, so much when they need a goalkeeper to help him out, to get him out of trouble by just simply passing it back and changing the, and allowing the goalkeeper to change the direction of play. Um, let me know your thoughts, guys, in the comments below. I'm absolutely... Um, the game tomorrow, man, it's 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 massively important, and I, I, I though Aston Villa have not been in a, in a in, you know dropped off a little bit in the last couple of games, especially. Um, I realise the importance of us um, really trying to go there and get the points. I don't see many changes being made um, from last week. I really don't. I think more than likely it'll be the same team with probably the same formation four four two like we did in our last week's win versus Crystal Palace. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like and subscribe to both Tottenham Away and Tottenham Away too. And we will see you tonight for our Friday Night Live, 9pm. Lock it in. As always, forever always, it's come on you Spurs. Mm -hmm.